Hi and welcome to Embedded World 2014 here on the Cisco booth where we're showing a, a demonstration from a good customer of ours at Continental. So Continental here have a, a demo of their interior domain integration whereby they, they see the car of the future in, in terms of integrating the many functions within a vehicle. In automotive we see more and more of a connected vehicle environment whereby maybe the instrumentation clusters and the braking systems and, and all of the engine management systems which traditionally have run on bespoke processors have been integrated into the infotainment systems in vehicles whereby your family and children utilising functions in the rear of the vehicle or in the passenger side are actually being run by the same hardware that's running the actual um, software within the vehicle. So in this demonstration uh, we have a, a, an instrumentation cluster which is driving our traditional information in terms of speeds, miles per hour, um, miles per gallon, that, that type of information which we traditionally expect running on the same piece of hardware as we have the infotainment system. So in this demonstration Continental are showing their OIP environments with their, some applications which they expect are, are traditional in a vehicle. So as an example we have an audio player whereby we're driving the, uh, the music in the car. So this um, is being run by the very same hardware that's driving the, uh, the Autosar stack which is running the instrumentation cluster. So I think you can see the power of, of, of being able to use a, an integrated environment uh, with a huge cost reduction because the hardware that's being driven by this is, is from a single, a single board. So in this diagram you can see the multiple cores that we're utilising from the ARM processor and each of those cores have a function within that software so um, you can see from the colour coding the green core is being used to drive the Android, uh, the two red cores here, two, cores 2 and 3 are used for the Geneva, the OIP software driving this environment and core 1 is used to drive the Autosar stack and notionally some security software. In this demonstration it has the ability to be able to host some security software on top, top of a POSIX profile that in, a, in a vehicle that may be some sensitive data which you require in the vehicle but you don't want to be shared between other software that's, ru that's running in that vehicle. Pico S has the ability to, uh, to, to dictate where the software runs and on which core. Um, we have the, first, the, the world's first multi-core certification so that we're, we're the only company in the industry to be able to certify software to run in a multi-core environment but also receive SIL 4 level certification utilising that functionality of Pico S with um, Continental's um, vehicle requirements they complement each other very well so you can see from this demonstration that using Pico S with the, the ARM hardware with Continental's applications we can really show uh, an application for a future vehicle. Um, some of our other demonstrations also utilize other processors so in this example we're using the IMX6 in a, on a freescale environment uh, on our other demonstration we're showing the A15 core which is using hardware virtualization. So also the performance that we can receive from running Android on a hypervisor um, is, a, is, is near native performance with running Android purely on the, on the bare hardware. So performance now, um, traditionally by utilizing a hypervisor you may have some performance hit of doing that. Um, there's clear value from a safety and, sec and security, um, but the performance hit sometimes um, may, may affect your, your software operation. Now with Pico S utilising hardware virtualization, we, we see no performance hit of utilising a safe and secure platform. So hopefully that has been useful from, from a demonstration of an auto, uh, automotive application. Here at Cisco, this is just one of our markets. We have uh, very many more markets, whether it be rail, transportation system, avionics. Um, the same software, the same code base that we're using here to show this, this demonstration on automotive is used in those other markets. So you can leverage what's happening in those various markets uh, and indeed the multi-core certification we have in the rail industry is being leveraged here in the automotive display.